Hey everyone, in this video we are going to start uh, laser engraving um, and learning about a program called Adobe Illustrator. Now, uh, where this is existing in our Schoology is down here in the bottom in week 7 in our Intro to Illustrator laser engraving folder. So we can either expand it by hitting there or double click in, either way. And we're going to the 7.1 laser engraving, engraving pencils, two designs, font and symbols. If you open that, this assignment, you are going to be opening and getting your bearings in a program called Adobe Illustrator. Once you get it in and understand the type tool, you'll be planning out two different laser engraving plans for your pencil that we'll do in our next assignment. These two laser engraving plans should be a name plus symbols, example being Lehman with a little smiley face in the end, or in uh, number two being name and an inspirational quote or a fan club. Uh, something like Lehman Bear Down, or if you got an inspirational quote that's relatively short, that'd be a good idea to have there. Now, um, there's going to be a little playlist above this download piece right here that you're going to be able to watch this uh, video in. At the same time, the way we're going to start by doing this is by going in and downloading this template. How we do that is by selecting it first. Um, you're going to be on a PC. Uh, the important part about this is it's going to then ask you to download it. Right, so we want to actually download it to our machine. Now, once we download it, it's going to be in a place called uh, our download folder. You can either see it up here. Mine is showing up in my Chrome as far as saying getting started. I could select it and open it that way. Or you can go down here and find it in your file folder where you should have a file folder down here next to your Chromes that you have opened up. And in that file folder, we should be able to go to your downloads, which is underneath that quick access. It's also underneath this PC. And in the downloads, you should see the last thing you opened up. And for mine, I'm looking at that uh, getting started. All right. Now, um, with that being said, once I get there, I'm going to open it up. Double click it to open it up. And it's going to go through a little process of opening Adobe Illustrator. And I'm going to be honest, it might take a few moments. It's going to eventually ask you to log in. All right. It might prompt you through a window or whatever else. Um, at the same time, we want to use our Gmail login to log in. We want to use a school account, which I believe is an enterprise account. Um, and you want to use your school login to get access. Once you have access, you will be able to get to this part of the program it may take a little while. Now, once we're here, the first thing we want to do is we want to come in, and I have a few things open up. I'm just going to close it. I don't think you'll see right away. I just want to come in here and explain a few things. The first thing is, um, on the left-hand side, we can see our toolbar. A lot of times when we do our toolbar, I like to have it double wide, which is the little arrow right here, which kind of condenses things and makes it basically two spaces wide all the way through. Just easier to see, in my opinion, uh, all the things we have that way. I like to run it in the double. Um, with that being said, we also have a bar underneath our menu bar. All right, This bar, if it's not active, is called your control bar. If I click it there, you'll see that's missing. If yours looks that way, all you got to do is go to Window and make sure you select Control. Right, control turns on this little bar that's called the control bar. Um, that is, uh, it has some things called like stroke and fill colors. Um, it has stroke and this their line weights. Uh, eventually, it'll also be a place where you can edit your text, all right, document setup, and those kind of things. Um, for right now, we can ignore that and just kind of we'll get back to it in, an, in another video. Now, um, the first thing I like to do besides just getting all that stuff ready to go is just make sure we save this in the right spot because I'm not sure it's going to save and actually hold there for more than one day in that download piece. So I want to come in and do a file, save as. We did this in our robot C. It asks you where you want to put it, on the cloud or the computer, and we actually want to put it on the computer. And the thing is, if you have access to your Google Drive here, um, you can put that there. I'm not sure that it does. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a document folder. All right. If you want to um, make sure that your document folder uh, is, I guess, easy to see, uh, you can right click and you can make a new folder called Illustrator. All right, just type in I-L-L-U-S-T-R-A-T-O-R. -L -L and 
The important part then is uh, you'll have a place to save things. I already have one, so I'm just going to select that. I'm going to hit escape my last thing. Select my Illustrator folder. And I'm just going to call this what it is. 7.1 getting started. All right. Hit save. You get a little pop-up that says, what version do you want? Um, and there's a lot of different versions that way. I'm just going to stay in the same Illustrator that it's showing. I'm just going to hit OK. And what you'll see after you do that is the 7.1 updates here on the left-hand side. All right. Um, that's all I have in this video uh, just to get you started. In the next video, I will come in and talk about what we do as far as searching through text and those kind of things. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Hope you got in well. Uh, hope it helps.